Hey everybody, um, I'll put the, the details in the description here so I don't talk too much, but uh, I've gotten a lot of questions from students who are getting into fish, um, mostly because I've gotten over my uh, shame of being a lifelong fish head, and really the more that I learn about music, the more I learn about playing guitar, the more interested I am in guitar players who really make their instruments speak, and I think you can make the argument that Trey does that as much as anybody else. It's, it's one of the absolute most identifiable guitar sounds in the world. Um, and it's what I grew up on, and it's what I kind of hear in my head when I think of lead guitar sounds, because that's what I learned to play guitar along to. So, um, I've gotten questions from a bunch of students about getting this sound, and I know that it's something that people talk about online all the time. And I just want to reiterate the it's all in the hands kind of argument. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off, that just turned off the tube screamer. Um, so this is just the compressor. No, you know what, I'm going to turn everything off first. So here's everything off, right? And here's as close as I can get to like a MoMA dance kind of thing without any of my toys on, right? So this is just my hands. to me is what sounds like Trey. It's not the pedals, it's not the Silver Mod Tube Screamer, it's the this. Right, so if you can't do that without any of the stuff on, you can't get the sound. I could take this guitar and I could make it sound completely different from Trey. I could do, you know, whatever. It's just the middle pickup strumming. There's nothing about this guitar that sounds fundamentally like Trey's guitar. It's a humbucker guitar. But, you know, it's... It, it can speak in a lot of different ways. This is just one way that I can make it speak. So that's the main point I want to make, right? So now I'll take that Momba dance thing. And that's no pedal though, that's just me trying to make it sound like Trey, and I think it gets pretty close. I'll put on one thing at a time. I'm just gonna click on the JHS Prestige, I just use it as a buffer, I always have it on, it just kinda makes things sound better. I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit. Alright, so that's just getting me kinda to a Unity gain or something. All right, now let's put the compressor on, which is gonna get us closer to the tray thing for sure. I'm gonna turn the volume of it up just a little bit. So that's the first thing the tray uses that you can hear makes it sound more like tray, but again, it's the line that makes it sound like tray. It's the way it's played. All right, there's the compressor. Here's one side of the King of Tone. Which I use as like a first boost. And I'm not doing the tray thing of like heavier boost into lighter boost. Uh, it's just not what I need for my current gigs. So the Tube Screamer, when it does come on, is going to boost the level and be lower gain than the King of Tone is. But again, you'll hear it's not a lot of gain. Anytime you slide into a note like that, it makes it sound more like it. Or pull down into it. Or play wrong notes. So anyway, the uh, pièce de résistance, I guess is the expression, would be to open up this loop that will add in the tube, scre tube screamer. This is a silver mod tube screamer just like Trey's, and it gets it really close, but it's because the playing is close. You know, I could play that line and make it sound less like Trey. I guess it's my vibrato. I don't know. Again, I learned to play making things sound like that, so when I do click this stuff on, it kind of sounds like that. You know, you can play that line like that. With all 
the same crap on, and it's not going to really sound like it because you're not playing it like that. And the same goes for em emulating any player. That's, again, the real lesson here. But when I do it, I can make it sound close. Alright, if I take something like Divided Sky. again and play those lines again. I just kind of want you to hear what it sounds like without anything on. But it still sounds close. It sounds like Trey playing a different rig, I guess. everybody is if you can't make it sound that close without any pedals buying the pedals and turning them on isn't going to do anything like that for you um, you have to be able to make the sound with your fingers and you know this guitar could sound a hundred different ways depending on the way that I play it if I choose to play it like that um, just to turn it back on one time just to do some bridge pickup stuff so you can hear um, pick up and roll back the volume knob, or the tone knob a little bit, and we'll do the... Trey is working the volume and the tone constantly through all this stuff. You know, that's with the volume rolled down, and it's a very different thing. Especially with the amount of compression that he's using, it's a whole different thing. Uh, but you know, like I pra that's what I practiced in high school, was like making this sound like Trey. Thing he does all the time in his playing. I used to practice that. It's stupid, I guess. But not if you want to sound like that. It's the way I'm whacking. I watched him play. I watched him hold the pick. I watched him working with his fingers. And uh, as I'm lucky to work with more and more students who can play guitar, and the lessons become more about how to make the instrument speak, I just can't stress this enough. I thought this would be a, a good little, uh, good little exercise. I'm trying to think of what other tune I can't even remember. Any other fish tunes you have? I don't know what else I got to play. Um, other fish lines. I don't know. Again, working that volume knob down. That's all volume knob. That's the same setting as this. Right, with the neck pick up, it's here. I'm rolling the volume down, and putting it on the bridge pick up. Yeah, 
It's just a less ball. Uh, or college or whatever. Alright, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how I'm doing this. Have fun. Be yourself.